Hi guys, it's your girl Suhaida too, out here in Noale having a fantastic weekend at the Middle Ground Exhibition. So this exhibition was put together by two dear friends called Gifty Amwating and Michael Jackson Blebo and they are really doing wondrous things out here, making art accessible to everybody and I mean everybody within their community and making sure that the unique perspective or inspiration that art brings to us all is enjoyed by all despite class or background. I am having a wonderful time viewing these pieces. My favorite are strings, which you will be seeing later. And I'll say this, you are missing out by not being here, but I'm glad that we are able to bring it to you wherever you are at. So go ahead and make sure you follow these artists on their social media pages and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and stay tuned for a really, really, really good expose on accessible art. My name is Blebo Michael Jackson, an artist and a sculptor as well. Yeah, my name is Gifty. I'm actually a writer. Yeah, and an artist. When Gifty came here, yeah, she showed most of us here in Nuale a lot of paintings and um, she wished that the guys here would help her build the canvas. But she came to me, which um, I didn't ignore. Gifty's paintings were very great and I realized that she had to move beyond the paper. So I went ahead to construct canvas for her. Then after I came to her, I told her that um, I think there is a chemistry. We have to create an exhibition. We have to have an exhibition. And before that, I was doing some um, experiments, which I wanted to have a solo exhibition myself. So having that chemistry with Gifty, I realized it was a good um, time to have an exhibition. So, and I would say this is a place or this is a middle grounds where we both met each other. We both worked together. So. I think that's a little thing that sparked up the exhibition. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and to also add, um, I guess we figured out that um, our our ideas concerning art, I mean, for me, who, who wasn't really the professional artist or something, as you would call it, um, had this, uh, you know, love the idea of art and just wanted to explore also. So I guess we also found um, a niche there for myself and for him and to build something around it. So the idea of having an artwork in like um, a white cube space or the galleries wasn't so, wasn't good for me with the reason that um, just a few people here would go get a car from here to Accra, visit the big galleries in Accra and consume the art. So once we are here, why don't we create something? They know, most of the villagers know that we are artists here. So why don't we create something? Why don't we bring our art we create to them right at their doorstep? And um, that is what we did. And one other thing that inspired us to do the exhibition here was the kind of architecture that is here. It is way different from that, that which it is in Accra. So those are the major reasons why we chose this place to have our exhibition. One of the special common things between our works is um, the fact that we're talking about um, human involvement in, in, our, in our spaces. Yes, so first we are talking about the internal, um, internal, ideas that humans are involved in we talk about emotions we talk about people living growing up you know to death whatever like that comes in between like a lot and then we also talk about their um, environment the environment in which we humans we exist in the people here exist in. so if i am exploring the as my work explores the emotions um, of humans between life and from birth to death and Michael is exploring the environment. We believe that that, that became the, the biggest, I mean, the first, you know, foremost common thing between our teams and what we seek to explore. So, did you create this art, um, this exhibition for 
who did you create this exhibition for? Yeah, so at our target group, um, I mean the people, our focus through which our narratives were um, towards is the people in the community. Yeah, because um, not only is our works involving all human aspects of life, but then we also figured that, as Michael said, spaces that involve arts only has to do with people that have a chance to go view it, they have the access to, to, to view it. So we thought that artists in itself is therapy. So why don't we involve the community that might probably see these artworks like never in their lifetime. So why can't we just do it for them and do it in the very space in which they are familiar with and comfortable with. So yeah. Amazing I, I least expected um, a mass or a greater attendance yesterday. The involvement from children, from adults, teenagers. teenagers. It's, it's super crazy. Yeah. The attendance was super great. And I heard one man say that these are some of the things that they wish could happen in the village. Um, to, and our communities. Yeah. That if we could, especially for me, I thought they would find my work pretty complex. Uh, because I'm trying to explain to them emotions of people and everything, but I was able to do it. And the man was like, they are learning. And the woman was like, yeah, this is really good. Especially one artwork about my mom, the ways my mom said, that is um, the memories, yeah. So they, they were like, if these artworks, the stories we are telling around the artworks were being told in different communities, to the people, then they would learn from what exactly we are trying to create within our own um, comfort spaces and to them, yeah. Before I say anything, it was my first time working on canvases. As Michael had said, my, my paintings which I, which I showed them um, at work, my colleagues, were all on paper. So working on the canvas, I mean, I've, I've not held a canvas before, I haven't, and I'm just seeing one, we are, we are supposed to create it and it will be mine and I'm going to look on it and paint like am i going to destroy all the paintings like am i going to waste paint it wasn't as as um as easy as i would do on paper it was pretty hard because then i do it i'm like oh my god people gonna see this and like nah i just have to splash everything and i'm like the next one my emotions will be like no this is not what i really want and then i just stare at all these people i'm like mm. Would by the time I'm done, would <laughs> would the painting be, but the paint be finished or what? So it was not easy for me, especially because it was my very first time working on canvases. But then some of them also took um, like some few minutes to finish because I just splash, 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 splash. Although I'm telling the story, I'm just it was just easy to make, especially um, for the gifts. That is my most colorful um, work, and it was one of the easiest um, paintings that I did. The rest of them had layers of work that I didn't, it didn't sit well with me. It wasn't really expressing what I really want to express, so I had to go back and redo it. And that was like, I think my painting, which you would see, that's called the, um, the past. The past is my hardest because I just didn't know what the, what I what I put that one down to finish a lot, um, most of the others. And it became my last work, and I loved it. So yeah, mm, I think that answers everything. Throughout my creating of the works, I've been experimenting the most. So this time, I realized that no, I have abandoned canvas for a longer time. So why don't I in include canvas in this exhibition? Yeah. That is why this time I involved canvas. So it is an experiment. I was experimenting how. This time canvas will fit well in my creative process and also i've been so much inspired by the environment which i do wherever i find myself whether in the city in the village i'm so much inspired by my environment so that is the idea that built the creation of my artworks and the politics around the space or the architecture in this village so those are the major reasons how, uh, why and how I created my artworks. And talking about a little bit challenges in the course of our preparation, there were challenges which I find myself, my family and I find ourselves, so I had to be going to Accra back and forth. So 
in, in the, these are the reasons and due to that I have to drop some few works that I couldn't finish for the exhibition. So maybe we'll finish up <laughs> some, some months to come. Some months to come, maybe the huge, you know, surprise thing. Yeah. <laughs> have a reason for every single thing that I do, the artwork, the creation, and also I learned a lot from the art people with Michael and <laughs> yeah, and Gershon, yeah, to Gershon, he, he really was massive, that's the guy who did our installation, he taught me a lot. For me, uh, one, one thing that I've learned which has really helped me in uh, making this exhibition a success is involving people. As I said, the spirit of communal. So involving people from all walks of life, from the cameraman, from the artists, other artists who um, help to bring all these concepts together, from the questions, from the punching of holes to of ideas and other things. And the other is the space, the kind of challenge the space gave us. Even when mounting the work, it wasn't easy. We have to come here three times at dawn in the morning wow. in the evening <laughs> the challenges this war or the space givers wasn't easy so these are the Don't things mind. that i learned from the whole exhibition i want um, to tell you that my work comes with poetry so for the poetry lovers come on join me let's enjoy let's enjoy let's enjoy <laughs> Just follow us. Mm -hmm. I'm an emerging artist, so obviously I have a new account. So follow me and enjoy the process with me. Well, I am very interested in these kind of things. And uh, for me, all I, would say, I can say is that I'm highly impressed, especially from somebody who hasn't been to an art school. <laughs> yeah, so basically that is it. Um, congratulations and uh, there are more things to come afterwards. The pieces are all favorites, um, but um, I saw one here which um, I mean I think that I love so much. This one, I think it was done by this. I'm impressed about this piece. And then uh, my property. The window blind. Cabinet, <laughs> 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 She said they will appreciate and because he she has a son called David and he went to see some of the pieces over there and when he came home he began to you know do some sketches you know so he she's especially happy for him that continuous seeing of such things will build him up. I'm Juliana Martin. I'm from Aquitiman. I came from Aquitiman, Accra, near La Paz. So that's why I stay and then I came here. Yes. And then I am um, Pepita Dean um, from Awush. So what brings you to Ada today? Actually, Gifty is my sister. She's been talking about exhibition here, art exhibition here, first one ever. And then, I mean, supporting her hair and then also coming to look at what she's actually been up to. So that is the main reason why I have come all the way to support and then also to support the work as well. And what do you think so far of what you've seen? 
I think I'm actually impressed because she started as just she started on pieces of papers and seeing her trans transitioning them onto I mean artwork like the professionals do without having any professional background or any school background i i really think it's impressive i am actually impressed not because she's my sister but then because she has really worked so hard in bringing out her passion so i it's all about impression for me today and um yesterday as well so what do you think about the art um well I personally love um, abstract arts and then um, when Gipti started her page um, I was really impressed that she's doing something like abstract so I came here but I was really blown because on the Instagram where I follow her on the page artist Gipsy, I, I got to see a few but coming here I, I saw more than like she put in um, on her feed I'm like really impressed uh, and I have my like, yeah, favorites which are your favorites? My favorite are um, this particular one, the uh, what is it called? This particular one, and then there's another one called um, Passion, and then the, um, Season. Yeah, those are my favorites. And what what are yours? I think the Earth is my favorite. Um, I love nature. I love everything about the Earth. Like, the Earth is so so glamorous. It's so artistic. And um, God created it in such a way that every part of it is beautiful. So when as soon as I saw it, I didn't even look at the description by it. I just fell in love only to find out the description was called the earth. So it, it actually resonates and I relate to it so well. So that's that's been my favorite so far. Awesome. And what about Michael's work? Michael, I like the one that looks like a curtain. The one so I like the fact that he uses natural um, natural pigments from leaves. I like the one that looks like curtains. It will be good for any kind of setting. Like office, offices. Favorite. Exactly. Yeah, just imagine like having a stress day, like yeah. having so many people and all that kind of stuff. And then um, you actually try to relax in your chair and then as you swing in your chair, you just look at the window. Like if what do you think about the space they chose to have their exhibition at? That was not your regular space just not your regular space i have been to like your, your regular space like in the bouquet and then the, like, 1957 and the choice of this place is just sort of like a renegade mindset like and then also well getting from their perspective it's it's not necessary they, they don't want to um what's it called make art accessible to everybody like which I was so impressed. They sort of like thought of the human perspective first, even before like putting it on this high end places. Like, and the setting is just so natural, like really, really nice.